week. Tomatoes! Tomatoes! Tomato War. As giant mutant tomatoes raged across our land, these hybrid horrors wrought havoc and lowered property values wherever they appeared. But now, five years later, things are returning to normal. Under federal law, tomatoes are banned. It is illegal to eat, own, transport, or sell a tomato. And now, in the opinion of this reporter, the tomato threat is over. Ugh. <laughs> Disgusting. You wouldn't laugh if you'd seen what I saw in the war. Ah, come on there, Wilbur. Uh, turn the TV back on. Yeah, we're missing professional roller bowling. This is Whitley White, coming to you from the Sands of... Tara? Are you in here? Good job, F.T. Thanks, Chad. You know you're supposed to stay away from salt. If someone sees you change it to a tomato, we're all in trouble. F.T. can pass as a dog, but you're a, a girl. There was an open box of salt on the shelf, and I didn't see it. <laughs> Being a luscious, ripe tomato can be hard on a girl. Why did Doc Gang Green have to make you allergic to salt? It was a mistake, like all of his experiments. What's holding up those pizza boxes, kids? Coming, Uncle Wilbur! Igor Smith here at the secret laboratory of Dr. Pietri T. Gangrene. Igor, you slacker! Where are you? Coming, master! Whoa! Hey! Whoa! Ow! Oh, oh, oh. I'm over here! <laughs> yes, yes! <laughs> the secret ingredient, the magic elixir, the essence of genius! They said it couldn't be done. You! said it couldn't be done. Electronic control of vegetables. <laughs> but I, using just six milk bottles and a tuning fork, have discovered how to drive tomatoes into a frenzy. <laughs> the proper combination of tones will do it. Ah, that's one. <laughs> and they called me mad. Me, the first man to domesticate the wild turnip. That's it. Today, San Zucchini, tomorrow, the world! Yeah. When I blow this whistle, any tomato that hears it will instantly attack! I'm so simple, I'm positively brilliant! So I miscalculated, sue me! Little do you know that I have a plan! Hey, boss! You got a plan? Who said I got a plan? You did, just now. Oh, yes. Yes. Yes, I do. And I'll be able to use you. So listen carefully, you goofballs. What is it, Uncle Wilbur? My latest creation. Mayonnaise and red snapper. Ugh! Pass! Uh... <laughs> Maybe later. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. 
Uh, here, boy, uh, try a piece of this. Those kids don't know what's good. Of course, we didn't have pizzas in the Great War. No, we starved. Or sometimes we ate the enemy. Yes, yes. Uh, Wilbur, my man, uh, we're, uh, you know, uh, eating. Yeah, and missing the game. Oh, you kids today just don't understand what we went through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mark my words. There are tomatoes among us. Deliver this peanut butter and onion pizza to Whitley White down at the television station, please, Chad. Okay. Stop this childish complaining. If not for me, my brothers, we would all starve. Aha! It's party time. Now, my comrades. Hurry, my faithful Red Guards. Let's boogie! It's me, here in San Zucchini. I've got to warn Uncle Wilbur. As soon as I deliver this pizza. I'm going to grab a quick pizza before the five o'clock. Say, what is this? You're not the pizza delivery boy. He's a very smart capitaliski. Why, you're... Dramatic pause. Tomatoes! You got some brain there, Anchorhead. You know, I could do a dandy exclusive interview with you. Yeah, maybe later. First, we gotta kidnap you. Get him, comrades! Just a minute! Nobody kidnaps Whitley White. At least not off camera! Uh, this is Whitley White, exclusive, live, from the scene of my own kidnapping. Tomatoes invaded the studios of KRUD-TV today in a daring attempt to abduct this reporter. Oh, my golly gosh. Retreat, my brothers! Let that be a lesson to you. Nobody gets the best of Whitley White. Who? What? Where? When? And most importantly, why? Sorry to do this to you, Whitster, but it's either your career or mine. As for you, bogus veggies, take our friend here to the hideout and make sure he's, like, comfortable, you know? I'm trying not to mess up. I'll take over here. <clears throat> This is your substitute anchorman, Igor Smith, with all the latest breaking stories. After this word from our sponsors. Ow! All right. I can't believe those tomatoes stole my skateboard and were able to ride it. Uh-oh. Careful, you fool. Don't bruise the merchandise. It's 5 o'clock, and this is Igor Smith with the news. Top story tonight, nothing happened in San Zucchini today. And That's not Whitley White. It's some new guy. <laughs> it's Igor, Dr. Gangrene's assistant. <laughs> Something's wrong down at KRUD. That's where Chad went. I just know he's in trouble. I've got to go to him. Hey, Tara! Kids. Ah, uh, good dog. The day will be bright until sundown, when night will bring increasing darkness. It's working! My master plan! Soon I shall rule the world! Soon, my little ones, we shall triumph! Ha <laughs> ha! Big budget special effects, huh? You'll never get away with this. I already have, my friend. My trusty pals and I. Now, where'd they go? Shut up and deal. What are you doing? You're supposed to be watching the prisoner, not playing cards. How are you doing that? You ain't got no hands. <laughs> oh, again with the grumbling. You wait till we get paid. You won't grumble then. I knew it. Now if I can just sneak off and get some help. Uh, 
Do you think we can talk this over? This? She a friend of yours? She was my own creation, and she betrayed me. But I shall have the last laugh. <laughs> yes, now you'll see what happens to those who thwart the will of me. What? You know what I mean. You're not so dumb. Now then, imagine if you will. I said, imagine. If you will. Tonight, when I blow my tomato whistle over KRUD TV, and the tomatoes hear it, they will sweep down on Santucchini. Yeah! Yes, good morning. Not even a tree will be left standing. And I shall be master of San Zucchini. What's left of it? <laughs> Today, San Zucchini. Tomorrow, the world. Well, what do you think? I think you're mad. Mad? Me? Nonsense. I'm just angry. I'm an angry scientist. Not mad. No, no, no. Angry. Do you understand? I'm angry. Now, <laughs> I'm going to show you just how angry I am. <laughs> I love the tomatoey smell of lasagna in the evening. <laughs> Chad, my boy, looks like the horse is on the other foot now. <laughs> That's FT. I know his bark anywhere. Well, nobody's getting past us. Come on, you guys. Let's stand our ground. You're at the pasto. Hold it right there. Catch a breath. Wait for me, guys. Thanks, Uncle Wilbur. FT, go find Tara. She's, well, you know. Why, you're Whitley White. You're absolutely right, but please, no time for autographs now. You must take me to the television station before some callow imposter gets an exclusive interview that should be mine. Huh? Come on, the tomatoes are coming. Charge! Hey, wait! Great, adults. Stand back, F.T. Uh, where am I? I'll explain later. We've got to catch Uncle Wilbur before he leaves. Where's these tomatoes? We've got to hurry. There's trouble at the studio. 
The studio? Well, oh, well, what is it? It's a big room full of lights and cameras where they make television shows. But that's not important now. We have to stop the broadcast. Well, uh, okay. See here. <clears throat> Open this door. Go away. We're closed. You must let me in. I'm Whitley White, anchorman extraordinaire. Whitley White's on vacation. Go away. Now you listen here. But if you're not on vacation as you claim, then why are you outside? Because you won't let me in. You've got to get in and get that whistle. Do your stuff, FT. <laughs> Where's the studio? Follow me! How much longer? Only three more commercials, your mad doctor ship. I told you not to call me that, tricky boy. I know I'm a big disappointment to you, not being cross-eyed, hunchbacked, and drooling, all that. Oh, but I can fake it. How's this, okay? The bells, the bells! <laughs> there it is! Where? Over there! What? Do your stuff, FT. Follow that mutant! Ow! To air, Doc! Don't talk! Run! And don't talk, Doc! Look! Tomato! See if he has the whistle. Hand over the whistle, you little wart, dude. I don't have it. Persuade. Let me go. <laughs> Nickel. Penny. Oh, yo, yo. All right. Rock. <laughs> I'll deal with you later. You will never get away with this. Silly girl. <laughs> I'm Igor Smith, and this is I on San Zucchini. My guest tonight is the world-renowned scientist, Dr. Pietro T. Gangrene. All right. Thank you, Igor. Yes, I'm a scientist. I'm mad, uh, uh, angry. An angry scientist, and uh, I am going to rule the world <laughs> with this. <laughs> Good night, San Zucchini, wherever you are. <laughs> Tomatoes that look like duckies. Excellent trick, your geniusness. You doofus! We've been snookered! Quick, to the tomato counter! Turn off that soundtrack! I don't understand your research and development ship. <laughs> don't you dig the music? What? Uh, if only I could get some decent help. Chad! Tara! Hmm, kind of a catchy tune. E Hi, Uncle Wilbur. Oh, pity they missed 
all the excitement. Kids! the laboratory of Dr. Piedra T. Gangrene, an angry scientist on the cutting edge of his field. Yes, and that is? Electronic control of vegetables, Igor. I am going to rule the world. Heavy. And doctor, perhaps some of our younger viewers are considering a career in science. Could you tell us what first inspired your interest in experimentation? Certainly. At the age of six, I ate an entire lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds tasty. Back to you in the studio, Whitley. <laughs> hey, kids. What time is it? Killer tomatoes time. So, what shall it be this week, hmm? Ain't old tomatoes. Yeah. Giant tomatoes. Yeah. Great big gobs of greasy, grimy tomato guts. Yuck. Igor. Igor! Yes, sir. You called for me, your madness, sir? How many times must I tell you, Igor? I'm not mad. Just angry. Behold, my latest and most fiendish plan. With this, I shall lay waste to San Zucchini forever. But you're weird, Chip. What could that itty-bitty cherry tomato do? <laughs> Hey, my University of Wisconsin fraternity ring. You greedy thing. Oh, well, it was for a good cause. <laughs> Evil. Early morning clouds turn to sunshine. Perfect growing weather for ripe succulents. <sighs> Fetch FT, get the frisbee. <laughs> Boy, Tara, I just don't know if I can teach him how to catch a frisbee. So far, all he's learned is how to crash into a snack stand. What if people found out he wasn't a dog? Tara, picture FT spread on this. <gasps> well, I'm gonna get some mustard. I'm gonna soak up some rays. Salt water! How about it? FT, we need pepper. Quick! license. Trust me. Oh, now, 
This is Mr. Clutch, right? <laughs> you know, this day at the beach was a total washout. Hey, slow down! Okay, okay, I'm putting my foot on the brake. last, after months of experiments, Finletter's Tomatoless Pizza Palace presents my culinary masterpiece. Ta-da! Instant leftover pizzas. They already have a slice out of them. Yeah, that's great, Uncle Wilbur. Uh, Uncle Wilbur, what's this empty spot in the middle of the pizza? That, my boy, is where the missing ingredient goes. The pizzas need something. Until I figure out exactly what, I can't deliver the orders. If you don't see what you want, just ask for it. Tomato! <laughs> oh, that word. I feel a ripple dissolve coming on. <sighs> Escape? You'll never be a real human! Fuzzy Tomato, feel! Come back, I say! You ungrateful little witch! I made you, and I can break you! And your little dog, too! <laughs> oh, oh. oh, oh, vinegar! What? What happened to... Cops came and took him. They ought to put that guy away for good. He just distracts from the plot. No! Look! Out the window! Take it easy, Tara. Says there it's a pimento truck. Igor Smith from the local pimento board, dude. Yeah, I'm in, sir. <laughs> Check it out. Look. The pimento and you. Did you know pimentos are high in polyhydrogen, hydrogen, hydro, whatevers? That they're part of a balanced breakfast? That they make wicked Christmas ornaments? Cut to the chase. Ha ha ha. Relax, sir. It's a pimento. And if I may demonstrate. Like, voila, the perfect centerpiece for the perfect pizza. Uh, Uncle Wilbur, I'm not sure that this is a... I'll take it. I'll buy all you've got. Thank <laughs> you. 
Tommy from Mars. Gee, should we screech them now, Rodney? They don't know, Clyde. I'm starving. Why don't we dig into the last leftover pizza in the back? Shh, this is very interesting. I wonder what a broccoli's motivation is. I wonder where FT is. Okay, there you go. Popcorn with just a bit of salt. I mean, we could screech them, Rodney. But then again, we might not, Clyde. There you are. More popcorn. You know, you won't have enough room for pizza. Reporting live and without benefit of a script, I might add. Tonight, tomatoes again invade San Zucchini. There seems to be no defense against the vicious fruits and or vegetables. There are reports of looting. Look, there's our chance. A garden supply store right for the plucking. Come on, let's go. to ourselves <laughs> let's dig in oh no not again kitty litter you dolt you blew it like you always do oh. all right so we'll grovel we'll go see the doctor and hope he has some filthy job for us to do a public service announcement from I, Whitley White. Citizens are urged to take safe haven in the downtown Solid Plex Mall Plaza. Safe haven? Safe? Safe my Aunt Franny. We'll see about that. Zoltan! At your service, Doc. I mean, the Doctor. So, Zoltan and the Gang of Five. A more scurvy band I have never seen. Parachutes? Got him, Pilgrim. Ready to move out and give him what for? Uh, yeah, ha, uh, ha. Uh. I'll show you what for. The piesta crazy stars. The crowning touch. The excuse for this whole silly plot. Within these bags, the world's most concentrated, most aromatic fertilizer. No tomato can resist. No matter how sturdy those walls are, a whiff of this... And my killers will tear through them like so much cotton candy. <laughs> if you do well, perhaps I'll give you each a small pitch. Afterward. So, don't go getting any funny ideas. What do you mean? Well, what are we waiting for? Come on, quit dragging your stems. With humans gone, 
we will have conquered. Then I shall rule. The earth will quiver at my frown. Kids, don't try this at home. <laughs> to turtles. No sewer deliveries. What? Oh, oh, sorry. No, this is not 911. Holy tomato! It's war! They said it couldn't happen again. They were wrong. <laughs> Loose lips sink ships. The South will rise again. Charge! This is Whitley White himself reporting again on the tomato emergency. And I might add, without benefit of my blazer with a station logo on it. Sam Zucchini is leveled. Most of the populace has fled to the mall plaza. The tomatoes are advancing upon it. Hear that, FT? We've got to do something. Head for the plaza. But first, a detour through that warehouse. Included in the festivities. <laughs> Come in. Come in, Tomato Task Force. Get down to the plaza. We need you. And. Oh, what the heck? Let's blow the budget. Call out the National Guard! Oh, <laughs> 
Want some pizza? A little dessert, huh? Oh. Simply, yet cleverly, they squashed my plan. Well, that won't happen again. Not next time. The jig's up. Run for your lives. Hey, are we late or what? <laughs> well, of course. I mean, Chad's the hero of this show. Still some mopping up to do, though. Hey, that's no problem. Look over there. The National Guard came prepared with big barrels of alcohol bromo. Gee, I didn't do so bad, did I? Oh. You did just great. We couldn't be more proud if we were human. <laughs> Somewhere in the Zucchini Botanical Gardens, this is Whitley White, reporting live from the camp of the noted archaeologist, Hernando Lama. What have you found in this remote, uncharted part of California, Professor? That dish was 5,000 years old. Yeah, well, that's pretty old, I guess, but what our audience is really interested in is this. Hmm, exactly what is this? Oh, it's a prehistoric stem from the missing tomato link. Yeah, yeah, but who cares about a tomato that's been dead for a million years? No, 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 you don't understand. This stem is fresh. It came from a living tomato link. Incredible as it may seem, it is still alive somewhere in this jungle. Whoa, that's the same tomato stem that Whitley White had on the 6 o'clock news, Doc. How many times, Igor, have I told you not to refer to me as Doc? I am Dr. Putrid T. Gangreen, founding member of the Mad Scientist and Arts Villains Marching and Menacing Society. I am not, and never will be, Doc. Uh, how the cow about it, Doc? I mean, Doctor. Yeah, I only meant... You meant that this stem from my top tomato collection is exactly like the one that Professor Hernando Lama discovered in the Zucchini Botanical Gardens. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's what I meant. My stem is petrified with age, but Professor Lama's stem was fresh. It proves what I only dare dream, that the missing tomato link, the link between fruit and vegetable, is still alive after a million years, somewhere in the remote, uncharted reaches of the Zucchini Botanical Gardens. Do you realize what this means? I can capture it and use it to create a new species of master tomatoes, which I can use to conquer the world, beginning with San Zucchini. <laughs> I hate San Zucchini. It's so, so all-American. Well, uh, what do you think, Tara? A little more to the left, I think, Mr. Finletter. Hmm? Uh, no, no, I mean pizza and sushi, my new image. I liked it better last week when you had hot frozen pizza sundaes, especially the butterscotch and anchovies. Except I could never figure out how to keep the ice cream from melting when I baked the pizza. Uh, how's it going, Chad? Not so good, Uncle Wilbur. The toppings all seem to have a mind of their own. And that's the way it was today in the Zucchini Botanical Gardens and the incredible discovery of the missing tomato link. This is Whitley White. FT's excited. FT's right on target when it comes to sensing tomato trouble. And you can bet that Dr. Gang Green will be involved. Gang Green's history, Chad. Right, right, right. It's got to be. 
be the ugliest dog I've ever seen. Are you sure this is okay, Chad? No one believes Dr. Gang Green will be going after the missing tomato link. So it's up to us. I have just enough money saved for my pizza delivery tips. I can buy two plane tickets to the Zucchini Botanical Gardens. Hurry up, I'm gonna miss my plane. Relax, mister. You're starting to turn green. I've got to get to that plane or I'll... Ah! And I thought Uncle Wilbur was weird. about to start, Doctor, Sir? <laughs> What's in these funny little paper bags? Tara, no! Not so! Uh oh <gasps> This is your pilot speaking. Please fasten your seatbelts. We're about to experience some slight turbulence. <laughs> tomato! <laughs> no! It's not a tomato. It's just a soft apple. I'll take that. No unauthorized produce permitted in the botanical gardens. Gee, sure looks like a tomato. It smells like my girlfriend's perfume. No, don't! It's, uh, an experiment. It, it can make you sick. Okay, let's score one for Tara. into the gardens. <laughs> Professor Lama's expedition. That looks like the Queen Mary. I don't think we can afford it on a Saturday morning budget. She may not be a bonita, Professor. Oh, that's okay. Just so she gets us to the Black Lagoon. Black Lagoon? Yeah! I told you not to mention the Black Lagoon. There is not a crew in all California that will sail with us there. Um, uh, we'll be the crew. Well, the chico can tie knots, the chica can untie them, and the dog, the dog can cook. Curses! They must not beat us to the Black Lagoon. Wagons, roll out! Yow! How are you gonna follow them, master, sir? With this! With that? Pump, airhead! It's a hot air tomato balloon! That jungle's really lush. I wonder what kind of fertilizer they use. It's so quiet and peaceful here. Wait until you catch my killer tomato piranhas! <laughs> <laughs> Look! I kill tomato piranhas. They love wood. They'll strip the boat down to the anchor in minutes. Those killer tomato piranhas are going to nibble us to the bottom of the river. Quickly, everyone grab a wooden pole. 
Curses! Foiled again! Uh, doctor? Not now, Igor. Can't you see I'm busy shaking my fist? But, sir, cliches? I really think... Not now! <laughs> Thanks. I needed that. Next stop is the Devil's Sink! The soap content of the water is 99 and 45 hundredths of a percent pure. Soil. I could sink my roots in here. Tara, quick! Over here! Best wishes to all my fans from the tomato link. It's ketchup and it's still fresh. <laughs> FT feels it too. The tomato link is here, probably watching us at this very moment. We're going to need some special help. Uh, Finn Letters, Tomato List, Pizza Palace. Uh, Finn Letters speaking. Uncle Wilbur, this is Chad in the Zucchini Botanical Gardens. We need help. We found the missing tomato link. T tomato link? That could be bad. Very, very bad. I'm on my way, Chad. Found the Sham Smith. Sam? Speak up, I can barely hear you. Finley, that's you? I'm on a secret assignment. Industrial espionage. What's up? Trouble, Sam. Tomato trouble. Tomato? Say no more, old buddy. Sam is on his way. <laughs> Relax, FT. I'm just going for a swim, and this is fresh water. Oh, it's so peaceful here. Ouch! I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm a Quiet, FT. What's wrong with you anyway? Doctor, uh, your magnificence, we got the tomato link! Ow! Of course I did it! Was there ever any doubt? Whoa, gnarly! Correction, Doc, it's got us! Did I forget something, F.T.? My bathing suit? Tara! The Black Lagoon has claimed another victim. Did you see? Incredible! It was the missing tomato link alive after all these years. Don't worry, FT. We'll find Tara. Somehow. Just what 
dominoes. I haven't had a decent game since a couple of 49ers wandered in here by accident. Miners looking for gold? Football players looking for a pass. Ladies first. <laughs> I'm not exactly a lady. I'm a bit of a tomato myself. It's all right. I'm not prejudiced. You know, this is really fun and all that, but my friends will be worrying about me, and there's this mad scientist lurking about in the bushes. Well, how thoughtless of me. Feel free to call home. Thank you. Hello, Tara? We were worried. I'm glad you're fine. I only wish we were. I have to leave. That little bit of trouble I told you about. Yes, it's been that kind of day. Oh, <laughs> this is fun! Whoa! I said set the timer for one minute, not one second. <laughs> okay, sorry, come. Where is Zoltan and that ridiculous gang of five? I'm not paying for no-shows. Enemy at six o'clock! They write savings time. For the glory of our employer and the no-nonsense cauterizer he promised us, the Mendoz attack! We're trapped in the devil's sink. Someone lower the water level. Hi, how's it going? Well, outside the fact that we're outnumbered a thousand to one, not so bad. to their own medicine! With what? Use your fingers! Like when you were a kid! Uh, Chad, you forget that when I was a kid, I was a tomato! Fingers! What kind of game is this? What kind of game Zotan likes? Hang on, Chad boy! Uncle Wilmer's coming! We have met the enemy, and he's a rock bigger than us! Retreat! Shooting down to help Chad. Oh! Sam! Cut the parachute loose! Gotcha! From the plane! Not from me! Sorry, Wilbur! I'll try to remember next time! Ooh! Doctor! Sir! Someone's burst our balloon! It happens to all of us bad guys, sooner or later. Rising. Hooray! We're out of the Devil's Sink! Thanks to Uncle Wilbur. <sighs> Sometimes I think I may be getting too old for this kind of stuff. So this is how it all ends. With a whimper. The Tomato Lake, dude! What a magnificent mutation to add to my arsenal. Awfully sorry, gents. This vegetable's not for sale. Ta-ta! Would you consider a long-term rental agreement? Your option! Whoa, I'm getting a bad feeling about this. What's happening, Doctor? What's it look like, Einstein? We're being flushed down the drain. Whoa! Pizza Palace, Uncle Wilbur. Thanks for the help. Wherever there's a tomato threatening the peace and security of the free world, that's where you'll find Wilbur Finletter. 
and the Tomato Task Force. Let's go home, Sam. Whoa! Tomato Link! It's okay. He's on our side. Not all tomatoes are vicious veggies bent on plunder and pillage, you know. Yeah, I should know that. Goodbye, Link. Thanks for your help. My pleasure. Be sure to write. You've got my fax number. At least we've seen the last of that evil Dr. Gangrene. I wonder. Watch where you're stepping, Igor. I don't want you splashing mud on my new boots. Sorry, go. I'll try to be more careful. And step up the pace. I want to get back to the lab and start my next villainous venture. <laughs> no, no. I'll do that. <laughs> Guys like that give sewers a bad name. and rock concerts. So, be careful of that stuff. It could burn a hole in a battleship. Whoa. Observe, I am about to construct my most maleficent masterpiece. My name will go down in history if there's anyone left to write it. <laughs> but I digress. James Dean. Brando. Elvis. And now, a drop of death. the irresistible attraction. A Pied Piper that will make the citizens of San Zucchini follow him right out of town. And when the town is empty, my tomato minions will crush it flat. And then I shall name it San Gangrini. <laughs> I'll do the laughing around here. Energize. Full power. Beam me up. I want to see colored smoke and flashing lights and little sparks pooting out. Ha-ha! Ha-ha! Rod McEwen, eat your heart out. Yes, your weirdness. You should see him with a toaster oven. Fantastic. It worked. I am a genius! Hey, man. Shouldn't I be playing a concert or something? Take that, you get that bull! 
This is the most realistic game I've ever played. As the fans of any town center, I'm afraid I can't permit such things. Uh, uh, uh. Far too realistic for Saturday morning. But it was fun. Fun? I do not see the fun in pureeing helpless vegetables. Welcome to Finn Letters 50's Tomatoless Pizza Parlor. Our special today is our chocolate malted and french fry pizza. Uh, no thanks, Hoser. We'll have a black bean and a uh, bacon pizza with extra donuts, eh? And which of our Fab 50's pizzas would you like to try today, sir? I just don't know. It's so confusing. It's been so long since I've had a... Well, you know, a, I just gotta have a pizza with tomatoes! <laughs> You out. You're not so special. Lady, if you're gonna hang around in here and chase my customers away, at least buy something. Tara, what's with the Rockstar magazine? Just this record of the month club offer. No, I mean, why are you reading about rock stars? I just find them so fascinating. Hunk Harrison? Moon Pigeons? Booger Patrol. What kind of names are those? Exciting names, Chad. Exotic names. Not like here in San Zucchini. Oh, when it's so dull. Pretty big talk for a tomato. Come on, FT. Let's go for a walk. Tomato, world tour, tonight at the San Zucchini Bolodrome. Uh-oh, I hope Tara doesn't see this. Yeah, he me. <gasps> He's dreamy. Okay, guys, take five. Me and the boys will check out the hall, Mr. Tomato, sir. <laughs> I see, I see, I see. Oh, uh, gee, Colonel, I, I don't know if we're doing the right thing. I, I just want to play my music and rock and roll. You just let me worry about that, my boy. This concert is going to be the biggest thing ever to hit Sam Zucchini. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There'll be plenty of rockin' and rollin', I promise you that. <laughs> yeah! This is Whitley White with the KRUD-TV News Bulletin. This award-winning and highly respected reporter was stunned and disturbed today to find out that a rock and roll concert is scheduled for tonight here in San Zucchini. No! Yes! Tonight at the San Zucchini Bolodrome, a singer calling himself Johnny Tomato. No! Yes! Will bring San Zucchini its first rock concert. Johnny Tomato? Monstrous! Disgusting! Groovy! Groovy! Scrum diddly options! And I'm going to the concert. But you don't have any money for a ticket. This has got to stop. This p -p -p pop singer who calls himself Johnny Tomato is a flagrant insult to the brave veterans of Tomato Wars. Oh, brother. Brave Hello. Oh, what's your name, uh, pretty lady? Tara. Well, I'll be a... Now look here, pal. Yeah, cool it, Pops. Uh, pieces for everyone on me. What? W well, why, sure. <laughs> T, what's wrong with you? I know he's a rocker, but he's got cash. Now, you'll stay in here until you learn not to drive away my paying customers. Sorry. Ah, 
I sure hope you're coming to my concert tonight. Um, well, I do not have any money for a ticket. Well, here you are. Uh, one for you. And uh, one for uh, your little brother. Big thrill. Uh, as for me, Tara, I, I think I feel a song coming on. I love you, baby, and I love you only. Could be my lover, and you'll discover that that's a no baloney, a no baloney, a no baloney. I ain't no Saint Valentine, I sure ain't no Cupid, and that's why you all know my songs are so, songs are so, so very stupid. It's so very stupid, it's so very stupid, it's so very stupid. Shh! A surprise for those meddling Finlanders. Experiment? Well, I know how to deal with spies. <laughs> Sultan? Coming right up, Colonel Green, sir. Coming right up. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> I'll teach you to stick your false nose where it doesn't belong. <laughs> Thank you for flying gangrene air. Don't you just love economy flights, huh? Oh, boy, this is great. Igor, you lunch bag! Come out of there! Don't call me mad. I'm just angry. As for you... Silence, my fearsome friends. You'll get your chance. Uh, Ta, there's something I gotta ask you. Yes, Johnny? Oh, uh, when I sing, uh, most people seem to, you know, they uh, get kind of goofy. Uh, they follow me around and they, they seem to do whatever I want, like they're zombies or something. Uh, how come you don't? Well, I don't know. I guess because I'm sort of a special kind of girl, kind of partial to... Tomatoes, you know? Yeah. M my manager, Colonel Green. Colonel Green? Yeah, Colonel Sam Green. Well, he has this thing about tomatoes, too. I'll bet he has. Johnny, I think you're a tomato. Well, uh, of course I am. I'm Johnny Tomato. No, I mean that you're really a tomato. Uh, gosh, Tara. I think you look pretty swell, too, but I don't think most guys would appreciate it being called a tomato. Sorry, John, but I had to see for myself. Tomato! I don't know, but I've been told. 
streets of heaven are paved with ketchup. Tomatoes. I knew it. Uh, I still can't believe it. You know, I, I'm a tomato. You'll be fine. Just stay away from salt. I sense tomatoes here. I mean, other tomatoes. Tara, are you all right? I'm fine. What are you doing here? FT is missing. He phoned from here, and now I can't find him. But this place is crawling with tomatoes. Chad, you know how gangrene made me from a tomato? Well, that's where Johnny came from, too. Figures that gangrene's behind this. He's using you to hypnotize the crowd. So, whose side are you on, Mr. Hot Shot Rock and Roll Star? What are you gonna do, Johnny, now that you know? I don't know. I, I don't want to hurt anyone, but I gotta do the concert. I, I don't want to disappoint my fans, you know, and, and Colonel Greenwell, he made me what I am today. Oh, poor Johnny. It's up to us. We've got to stop getting green. I'm gonna call Uncle Wilbur. This is Weekly White, broadcasting without benefit of cue cards. From the San Zucchini Volodrome, there's a great turnout for the concert of Johnny Tomato. People seem mesmerized by this Rasputin of rock, this swami of sound. Uh, pin letters. Chad? What? Who? Where? I'm on my way. You got your earplugs in, Chad? Chad? Huh? Oh, yeah. So far, so good. Ha! Security! Yes, sir, Colonel Green, sir. You've got intruders at door five. Juice them. Y'all stay right there, kids. Paste them, troops. Uh-oh. That does it. Uncle Wilbur is right. It's time to get serious. Yo! It's time to kick some stem. I'm your worst nightmare. Stop it. I'll take those horrid things right now. But they're just water guns. Filled with salt water. See? <laughs> a tomato? Nah, a prune. Now we're gonna hear from the prune board. <laughs> is in progress, and I'm waiting to hear the crowd's reaction. They seem to be excited, perhaps even agitated, at this turn of events. Whatever those events are, and now, back to me, Whitley White, in the studio. They're ruining my perfect plan. Igor, release the tomatoes. Tomatoes in my trailer! 
Time for my brilliant backup plan B. I'll run away. Where'd you come from? <laughs> Two thousand members of the Vegetable Kingdom, and I had to work with tomatoes! But I'll be back! Don't worry, Tara. I'm sure Johnny got away somehow. I hope so. He wasn't bad, just confused by his upbringing. You know, it's hard to shake loose from your roots. <laughs> oh. Come on, Tara. Let's get a pizza. Space, the last frontier. To go where no man or woman has gone before. The Red Planet. Tomato. Tomato? Focus. Focus the picture. That's better. <clears throat> the Red Planet. Mars. Where no man or woman has set foot. But where robot spaceships from Earth have landed, seeking to unlock the mysteries of the universe. Who wrote this stuff? Carl Sagan? Mars Probe 1, 2, and 3, and now Mars Probe 4, which is sending back these incredibly... Dull pictures. Incredible. Yeah, awesome. Incredible that none of the mutant tomato seeds I smuggled onto Mars Probe 1 have sprouted. Bummer. Mars Live, another Whitley White exclusive. Wow, Mars. I'd like to be an astronaut and go there. The ground is so red. Reminds me of the garden patch where I used to play. <laughs> Mars, that's only a planet. Why, when I was a lad, we went all the way to Pismo Beach. Finished my first Tex-Mex pizza. Uh, the hot sauce on this will take care of that cold and clear your sinuses, Chad. Uh, no thanks, Uncle Wilbur. I'll just stick with lots of orange juice. Uh, how about you, Tara? <laughs> I'm on a diet, Mr. Bin Letter. Well, we'll see what the dog thinks. Maybe a bit too heavy on the jumping beans and hot peppers. Mars is a lot like San Zucchini. Nothing ever happens. I was sure that Martian soil would have created a new species of killer space tomatoes. Hey, but remember the success you had with Zoltan and the Gang of Five? I have even made a record of it for prosperity. That's posterity. Yeah, whatever. This is a flashback. It is intended for the private use of our audience and may not be reproduced without the express permission of the Putrid Tea Gangrene Foundation for the preservation of pestilence, plague, and public persecution. I've always wanted to meet the father of the rocket ship, the famous Dr. Werner Von Broccoli. So have I. Where is the dude? That's me. And I'm so happy that you are doing me this little favor. Why, I, I'm delighted to expose these pansy seeds of yours to some real cosmic radiation. They will be most grateful, and I will be most grateful. The world will be most grateful. <laughs> this is Igor Smith reporting live on the spot where the most secret of all secret space shuttle launchings in the history of, of secret space shuttle launchings has just been launched. of a secret cargo on this secret mission. A cargo of, what else, secrets? No, tomato seeds. Of course, the NASA dudes have vigorously denied these rumors, but there is no denying that this secret shuttle mission has not gone exactly as planned.
The seeds secretly sent into space are secretly presented to school children throughout the nation. You understand the principle behind my mutant making machine? Yes, it would be difficult for a brain as reduced in magnitude as yours to comprehend anything beyond sun, surf, and sleep. Oh, gee, thanks, Doctor. Your dude ship? In the old days, there was Peter Lorre and Boris Karloff. Today, one must make do with Igor Smith. Turn off the climate control, Igor. I said, turn the climate control off! I trust you played the learning tapes while my little vegetables were vegetating? I don't want stupid tomatoes. I did just like you said, your smartness, sir. Hit it, boys! Way down upon the sand zucchini, far, far from home. did you use on these tomatoes? These, your unworthiness. Blockhead? These are from my late night movie collection. All right, you dirty rat. <laughs> See you to help me with my science project, Tara. I just love astronomy, Chad. It's almost as much fun as, as listening to the farm report. I only hope we can assemble this telescope. The instructions are in Japanese. Big as FT. Hey! There's Orion the Hunter. Oh, let me see. Oh, there's Taurus the Bull. Opportunity of a lifetime. It's a long way to Verboten Valley. Could you pick up the pace with a little tomato power? Golly, that meteor made quite an impression. It made a big hole in the ground, too. Come back! I'm getting a bad feeling. A very bad feeling. That sound... Sounds familiar. Like... Like a... Tomato! Sounds a 
bikinis being evaded by tomatoes from space. We're gonna need the tomato task force on this one. Hello, Floyd Bridgework? Hello? Yes? I'm gonna be ready. Mary Jo Nandeman de Medici? Are Mr. Rival training? Mary Jo speaking? Billboard? On my way, Buster! Well, the Tomato Task Force should be arriving any moment. Sam the Sham reporting for active duty. I'm ready. Mary Jo's late. But we can't wait. We've got some Martian tomato butts to kick. How do you know they from Mars? This is from Mars Probe 1. They use the NASA rocket parts to build the flying saucers. So in addition to our tech in our world, they infringed on our patents. <laughs> You may be big, but you're outnumbered. Tomato Task Force! Retreat, I think. Where is Mary Jo when we need her? I am coming, Wilbur. Let us do it, I a tomato salad, comrades. GBK style. George! You know, Tara, I think the army's taking this invasion serious. But what do the tomatoes want in some zucchini chat? Yes! What are Martian tomatoes doing here in a peaceful little do-nothing town like San Zucchini? That's what all of San Zucchini is demanding to know! And I, Whitley White, am here on the spot without benefit of a hairdresser to deliver the answer to that question. These mutant tomato seeds are all that remain of the strain I developed to send to Mars. I dreamed of an army of Martian tomatoes trampling through San Zucchini, but it never came to pass. Whitley White reporting live from beautiful downtown San Zucchini, where killer tomatoes from the red planet Mars are overrunning the army. Will San Zucchini be destroyed? Will alien tomatoes take over the world? Uncle Wilbur, it's not going too well, is it? Don't worry, Chad. We've only begun to fight. And maybe it's on its way. Right. Believe we show those Martian tomatoes who's boss. Of course, there's some minor damage to San Zucchini. Oh, that's at San Diego. Well, I flying for medial geography. Spelling isn't so hot either. Time to call the president. Yeah. Got a quarter, Chad? No, no, no! First it was broccoli, now it's tomatoes. Will it never end? Read my lips. Nuke them. Nuke all vegetables. Sign. Take us to your leader. Whoa, what gnarly tourists. Look, Spacehead, we're here for the mutant seeds. And in a hurry. Okay, okay. Keep your stems on. God, the doc could have at least told me you were coming. I just knew Dr. Gangrene would be involved. I don't like it here, Chad. This reminds me of the bad place where I grew up. This is the bad place where you grew up. That's probably why it reminds me of that place. Incredible. Amazing. My Martian tomato seeds were a success. I, Dr. Putrid T. Gangrene, am your proud creator. And now, no doubt, you have come to meet your maker. You gotta be kidding. Who does your makeup? General Electric? Don't be insolent. If you haven't come to pay me homage, then just why are you here? Seeds! We want the rest of your mutant tomato seeds! We need to take them back to Mars and grow an army of space tomatoes, like us. Then we can return and conquer the Earth. What's in it for me? Mm, maybe a clerk's job in the San Zucchini Sanitation Department. <laughs> All right! 
Oh, oh, oh! Can I be the San Zucchini TV anchorman? Huh? Can I, can I? Shut up, Igor. Branch Breath here is not in charge. I am the evil genius on this show, and I give the orders. You and what army? Okay, wise guys, you want trouble? <laughs> trouble? No! I want seeds! Uh, seeds. Yes, sir. You want seeds? Soul Pan will give you seeds! This is bad, Tara. In fact, I don't think it could get much worse. I think it just did. You'll never take over the Earth. Of course we will. We are bigger and smarter than you puny Earthlings. You, take these small ones to the ship. I'll deal with them later. Right, boss. Boss? You turncoat tomato. Sorry, Doc. We tomatoes stick together. You two, gather up the mutant seeds. This is really humiliating for someone of my stature. We gotta do something, Tara. Or the Earth is doomed. Look, they left the door to their flying saucer open. And the motor's running, too. The prisoners will not talk. I don't like doing this to a fellow tomato, but... What's going on? Put me down! Now! Yeah! Run! Wow! This is like being on the set of a science fiction movie. How do we operate it? I can barely drive Wilbur's pizza truck. I don't know. Just start punching buttons. Welcome to the newly converted Martian Express Flying Saucer. Do you wish to pilot, or would you prefer me to proceed on automatic? Um, I don't know. What do you think, Tara? Just do it! Now! So much for your plan to take over the world, you can't even take over a couple of kids! <laughs> alert! Alert! Battle stations, prepare for auto assault! Destroy! Destroy! This thing's still running in attack mode! We're heading straight for San Zucchini! Oh no! We're on a collision course with the Tomato Task Force! Whitley White of KRUD, the final battle, humans versus aliens, alien tomatoes, is about to begin, and you are watching it live, unrehearsed. But first, back to our main studios for an important message. Thanks for that live on-the-spot report, Whitley. We'll be back to you in just a minute, but first, this important word. Coming soon to a television set in your neighborhood. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes! Portions of this show may be too intense for adults. Kids, don't miss it. And now, back to the news. Amazing! That was the most exciting battle between men and women and flying saucers that I've ever seen! It was absolutely incredible! What battle? We never saw anything. Relax, we got it all on tape. Film at 11. 11? We want to see it now! Okay, okay. Play it again, Sam. We're attacking Uncle Wilbur! We gotta stop this thing! Ouch! 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 What happened? You just activated the self-destruct command. I might suggest that you evacuate it as soon as possible. You're 30 seconds to detonation. 29, 28, 27. Look out! It's gonna... Stand back, Chad boy! I'll handle this! Saucers and a lot of big ugly Martian tomatoes. I think it's going to rain. I know it's going to rain. 
Look! The rain! It's shrinking the Martian tomatoes! And so, as suddenly as it began, the invasion ended. Oh! We're melting! Melting! The smog-filled rain of San Zucchini proved to be mightier than all the weapons, the army, the navy, the air force, and the tomato task force could muster. I'll bet you thought that my flu bug was going to do them in. Greetings. I'm your host for the Tomato Zone, Rod Swirling. There are billions and billions and billions of worlds in the galaxy. Was this originally written for Carl Sagan or what? But on all the worlds, circling all the suns, in all the universes, we have yet to find any trace of intelligent vegetable life. Although there have been recorded instances of unintelligent life, particularly on Earth. From the San Zucchini Tomatoless Vegetarian Picnic here in Rufus T. Firefly Memorial Park. Ah, uh, is there anyone young or old who doesn't thrill to the pleasures of this annual event? Is there anyone indeed who could find this festive atmosphere? Boring. Chad, we have a problem with these pizzas. This tasteless tofu like topping is a bit bland. Uncle Wilbur was trying to make up for last year's disaster. Kung Pao jalapenos and hot sauce. That's what everyone says. Well, let's close up for a while and check things out at the Tomato Task Force booth. It's called Cow's Zoning, Wilbur. Sort of like a rolled up pizza, you see. Rolled? Rolled? Pizzas aren't rolled, they're flat, like the world. Now, take a taste. They're delicious, stuffed with whole kumquat. When I say so, boys, let her rip. Uncle Wilbur, don't bite that. It'll bite back. <laughs> Magnificent kumquats. Let's go. Yahoo! Stay here and guard the grounds. I will exercise calm, reasoned leadership and pulverize those suckers myself. Charge! Stay! Actually, Tara, Uncle Wilbur didn't tell us to stay, so let's go. Man, where did they come from? Killer Kunkwatz is very strange. Really weird. <laughs> I had a great time. A most excellent time, dudes. The best henchman's convention ever. Oh, and I totally love my t-shirt. Till next year. Dig you later, dudes. <laughs> Oh, wow. It was fun, but it'll be good getting back to work with my adored master. Whoa, what is this? His victory garden. Everything's like, I don't know, shriveled up. Oh, this will explain it. A note for the toxic waste delivery man, asking him to go away? Well, this can't be. I'll open the door. Everything will be way cool as usual. Above all, I'll see my... Master? Master! Sir, it's me, Igor, back from the convention. Oh, would you like to hear all about the groveling seminar? Don't answer it. Hello? Putrid, baby, 
your face. What's going on, huh? You conquer any worlds lately? <laughs> uh, like, who are you? How dare you? My master will prevail when he's good and ready! He's back. Who, master? Ha! Uh, thereby hangs a tale which can only be told in a flashback to my wonder years. Actually, they were more like blunder years. I had a modest ambition to be the first kid on my block to rule the world. Was that too much to ask? Yes! Well, 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 if it ain't putrid tea gangrene. Today's science day, pal. What you got for show and tell? Uh, uh, an, an apple. I, I, I thought... An apple? No, 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 no. That is wrong, wrong. You want to be a scientist, you got to be on the cutting edge. Always got to look for new stuff in new places. Like up there. G -g Gosh! That billboard? You got it, fella. Go for it. It's research. Up, up, and away. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm climbing. Right. That's it. Now, into the bowl. Oh. Well, what'd you find? <gasps> Tomato soup. Yeah. <laughs> I got ya. Yes, Sydney, I got you. My childhood rival. From grade school on, Igor, he never ceased to torment me. Even on my first date. Listen up, Earthlings. I'm the big cabbage here, and I'm telling you, stick it between your elbows. You, 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 you want a chocolate-covered cherry? <laughs> Rotten tomatoes! <laughs> I got you again. He took pleasure in tormenting me, always fouling up my science projects so that his would succeed. Then came our final confrontation. Welcome University of Wisconsin science students to chemistry class. Today's experiment, growth, modest experiment using a common everyday fruit to be conducted with your lab partner. How are you two doing, okay? Watch out for that one. He's weird, bizarre, a, a total nutcase. Look, pal, let's cooperate for once, okay? You can handle this. Now, follow this formula. You put the tomato in the beaker. It's working. It's growing bigger and bigger. Oh, no! Too big! <laughs> I gotcha! <laughs> Boys, faster, he's a gaining. <laughs> Bombs away! Fire when ready! Hit the deck! Up the establishment! Gosh, your bitterness, sir. That's the saddest flashback I ever heard. No wonder you're like so strange. Now, this I gotcha, dude. He's. He's somewhere nearby. Ever since you left for the convention, Igor, he's been calling at all hours, taunting me. Sydney, I got you. Drove me to tomatoes. I see now. I've been on the wrong track all these years. And now he's come back to torture me. Is it too late to start over? Hmm. Oh, I should have bought the honey almond processing plant when I had the chance. Say, what about the yummy kumquat crating company? Hopefully, it's still for sale. Hey, somebody's moving in. Uh, oh, ow! How dare they? How dare anyone interfere with my real estate needs? Oh, master, look! The unhealthy color is back in your cheeks! <laughs> For joy! The only way to fly! All right, who goes there? Show yourself! Yeah. Ew, you grody mutant! You swallowed my mask! 
monster! Oh, total bummer! I'm like, who's behind all this? <gasps> so this is Sydney, I got gotcha. you! Doctor, I got you to you, babe, huh? No sign of Uncle Wilbur yet. Uh-oh, Chad. What has happened to... Oh! Oh! What is it? What's wrong? I... We both sense something. Animal, vegetable, or mineral. Come, Quat! Oh, major bring down. That big tangerine of yours swallowed up my master. Oh, really gnarly scene. Babe, sweetie, it's not a tangerine, okay? And pipe down, will ya? I'm working on the antidote. Master, are you all right? Can I get you anything? As a matter of fact, yes, Igor. You can get the other here! Booby, baby, sweetie, how much is old Putrid paying you, huh? Paying? Nothing. Ah, I'll double it. No, no, time and a half. You're hired. Ah, ha, it's ready. Now, stand back. <laughs> It never fails. It is. Mind your manners. Next time. <laughs> Tip a canoe and Tyler too. Whip and place it now. Just say no. So, Sydney, I gotcha. Still weird after all these years, but you don't scare me anymore. I defy you. With what? Tomatoes? <laughs> Face it, putrid. You've been a loser all your life. Never could get a science project right. For years now, you've been futzing around with the wrong fruit. Kumquats are where it's at. The bigger, the better, the better. It's taken years, but now I'm ready, and you are history. <laughs> You're mad, Sydney. Not angry, just mad! Igor! Igor! Not so fast. Igor works for me now, since I time and a half this salary. What? Well, make up your mind, Igor. Time and a half, or nothing. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Betrayed. But you'll not keep me here except by force of arms. <laughs> What's with you, Quartz? You're supposed to be out wreaking random havoc. <laughs> Senor, we must ask to see your badges. Badges? What stinking badges? Oh, all right. I must have a Fox Kids Club badge somewhere. Hey, my wallet's missing. I must have dropped it inside the kumquat. Just show me the way back to the factory, please. I'll, I'll, I'll give you guys a job. Uh, one where you'll go places. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. I'm going up there. Wait, Chad. I cannot let you go without this. A hairpin? Tara, you really are something else. I know, Chad. I am a tomato. But I saw on TV once how this secret agent who never used weapons saved the whole world by using nothing more than a small sliver of... I get the picture. Thanks. No, 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 no. Igor, Hal, Booby, baby, forget gangrene. That guy's always gonna be number two. What good's that when it comes to ruling the world, huh? You stick with me, kid, and get a load of this. Behold, the guns of I gotcha! So, he thinks he's got the world in his hands? Not if I can help it. The guns of gangrene! With these, I'll pound that kumquat company to pulp! That's the last of them! Ugh. King-size exploding kumquats. Loaded and ready. Igor, baby, the countdown. Ready, aim, <laughs> like fire! <laughs> Kiss and zucchini goodbye, pal, cuz I got ya! <laughs> <laughs> Reporting seriously now on a new kind of crisis, and it's not even Sweets Month. 
Kumquats, yes, giant kumquats, not tomatoes, are hurtling towards San Zucchini. What significance has this? What does it mean? It means I'm out of here. This is Wiggly White saying, Bon voyage! An urgent update from Station KRUD. San Zucchini survives. Whoa, 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 what happened? How could I have missed? It's not possible. N not without sabotage by a hairpin. You did it. You saved San Zucchini with brains, courage, and the hairpin. Ready? Aim. Drat. Forgot to load them. But there's nothing here to load them with, except... Well... I did promise them a job where they go places. Get your fertilizer! Free fertilizer! Fresh and steamy! <laughs> yummy, yummy! Chow time! Oh, my, 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 my. Hey! Where's the fertilizer? <laughs> Fire! We've been had! <laughs> wow! Like, alert! Alert! Tomatoes out! Let's see, the big hand's on the... Oh, yeah. 12 o'clock! Here I got you, Ness! What? How dare that has been fire at me? Ain't back, Igor, babe! Just passing through, seniors. Who can play at this game? <laughs> We're free, compadres, on our way to old Mexico. Adios! Can't hit the side of a tomato factory. <laughs> Come on, help me adjust the caliber to fit two big, dumb kumquats. Hey, you two! Come back here! What are you waiting for? After him! That's not what I meant! Come back! Now what? All I got left is this! That guy up there is screwier than gangrene. We gotta stop him. But how? Someone, something is coming! I sensed it, Chad. A wallet with tomato stains. Why, of course. It's Gang Green's wallet. Awesome. Good thing I want a chemistry set. I know what this is. I need a tomato for a dangerous assignment. Any volunteers? Right, what? Well, slip this to that Dr. I will ya. Or I want or whatever his name is. Can you do it, F.T.? Run the ring! Uh-oh. Aha! A tomato! So what's going on, huh? Huh? You want to surrender? Good move. For me? All right, slide it down. Yeah, just what I need. A formula. Something to make one kumquat go a long way. A modest growth experiment, Booby, using a common everyday fruit. Oh no, now you're risking this, not this formula. Help! Hmm, now why does this seem familiar? Why, F.T., I, I, I mistook you for a... <laughs> What's that? Great guns! The Kumquat Company! She's about to blow! No! No, 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 no! Now 
I remember that formula. You got me! Awesome! We did it! We did it! Uncle Wilbur, you're safe! And so is Sansukini! Again! The kumquats are destroyed! Not quite, Tara. Ah! Oh, don't be afraid. This kumquat is different. We wound up lost together. I'll set him free eventually, but for now, we be of one blood. Uh, uh juice, uh, this kumquat and I. Don't try this at home. Wait a minute. Let me ask you something. Why are you watching the show anyway? Tomatoes. I mean, come on. What are the kumquat? No, no. Forget kumquats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. An eggplant. <laughs> Wait a minute. Eggplants aren't funny. A watermelon. Yeah. <laughs> I found it! One tiny tomato seed. Just enough to start again! <laughs> Igor! 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 Come home! All is forgiven! You want to see more? Oh, bummer! Okay, all right, like, here's my Weebelo badge, here's my Explorer badge, oh, dig it, my Surfing Merit badge. Oh, yeah, and look, here's one for the 50-yard dash. Good day. Lots of ketchup. Tomatoes. Foiled again by those sand zucchini weenies. Ooh, 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 ooh. What are you laughing at? When I finish with sand zucchini, I'm going to start in on you. <laughs> sand zucchini. Sand zucchini is like a fat pigeon just waiting to be plucked and my killer tomatoes have failed! Oh! <laughs> oh, bogus! He's up to something! I hate it when he laughs like that. When he laughs like that! <laughs> tomatoes tremble! <laughs> Say, that's pretty good. 
I think I'll do gangrene for the rest of the episode. What do you think? I think you're looking for trouble, dude. Dr. Gangrene went to town to ruin Sanzuki. Put a pot in every house. Oh, I'm such a meanie. Yeah. Ugh, he's no Bruce Springsteen. What was that? Yeah, uh, nothing, your golden-throatedness. What's the plan? I will use these pods to grow replacement citizens. Citizens I can control. Citizens I can line up and count and... Uh, and I'll... I'll buy them clothes. <laughs> and, and we'll play dress-up. And uh, they'll go to parties and... Uh, <laughs> One of him is enough! Down! Back! Uh, uh, tell me, you're a scientific methodosopher. Where do you get your ideas? A vibrating dwarf comes to me in my dreams. Now go away while I stir my swill! <laughs> going, Chad? Terrible. Uncle Wilbur, why can't we just make pizzas? Because people want something different, something flashy. Now that we can't use, well, you know. Tomatoes? Yes. Yes. I miss tomatoes in my salad, tomato paste in my spaghetti, tomato sauce on my pizzas. But there's a war on. Maybe someday, when tomatoes once again know their place. But until then, tomatoes are the enemy. And as long as they are, men like Gangrene and the Grizzly Gang who work their wicked will must be fought at all costs. We must resist them with every fiber of our being. We must... Hey... Well, I like it, but I know what you're going to say, Sucko. It doesn't meet your artistic standards. Well, you're right, Egbert, it didn't. Let's face it, this Wilbur Finn letter is no Pacino. And the style, it looks like a cartoon. Well, come on, it is a cartoon. We're a cartoon. Well, if you're going to bring reality into it. Uh, listen, you two, I don't mind if you come in here and criticize the show, but you got to buy something. And I don't sell popcorn. Fine. What's your best pizza? Tomato! <laughs> Going somewhere, are we? Hmm? Yeah! Yeah! You're a public nuisance, you know that? A public menace! A disgrace to San Zucchini! Wait a minute! Can't anybody take a joke? No! I know what I'm not wanted. That was not very nice of them, F.T. I will go after Tomato Guy to apologize. What a nice little pooch. <laughs> you can be replaced by a poodle. Where are the restrooms, dear? And who's the guardian of public morality? You, you are, are, dearie. Special. You're special. Everything's special. Thank you. Uh-huh. Do you think she looked funny? Probably at me. I, I think my head is shrinking. <laughs> like it? Dr. Zoltan, the Magnificent. You look like a moldy strawberry. I'll tell you know who you said that. Want to meet my assistants? No. Igor! Just the pods, dude. <laughs> 
Please! Hurry up, Igor! I have a date with destiny! <laughs> Giant Peapod's delivery service! Where you want them, dude? Yeah, uh, Mac? What? I, I didn't order any giant pea pods, and I won't pay for them. Hmm. <laughs> Says here, they're already paid for. Oh, well, in that case, put them in the storeroom. Huh? My did we? For a moment, I thought I sensed... <gasps> tomatoes. The San Zucchini Police Department dealt with a rash of bizarre stories this morning. A number of citizens complained of strange behavior. But everything is fine. No cause for alarm. No problem. Nothing to see. Please move along, madam. And now, doctor knows best. Well, this is certainly nothing new. Well, I must agree, Suckle. It's a standard horror movie plot right out of the 1950s. What next? Now I suppose the two critics will be turned into zombies. <laughs> and in the oh, no. opinion of this... Will you keep it down? I'm trying to watch television here. Love the show. Very nice. Carry on. <gasps> My head is shrinking. Where is everybody? Mr. Finletter, what are you doing? My head is getting smaller. No, it isn't, Uncle Wilbur. The town is filling up with bulbous-headed people. Wow, what's that mean? We do not know, but we think that Dr. Gangreen is behind it. We just have no proof. Kids, I believe you. Thousands wouldn't, but I do. It's time for action.
Looks like this is it, FT. Uh, uh, Great. Now they're gonna hang us. Come on, hurry. We haven't got all day here. help from you. You're always making tomato jokes. So I have a sense of humor. So sue me. The zombies are breaking in downstairs. They'll be here any moment. We have to work fast. Upstairs quickly before they escape. They're not real bright. But he is. Halt, you meddling boy. Run for it. You're driving. I thought you knew. I think your dog is going to be sick. No, he's saying K-R-U-D. Drive to the TV station. Good boy, F.T. If you say so, K-I-U-D it is. Smart dog. Time to slice and dice. <laughs> Hear something? It's the theme song. Uh oh, we got company. <laughs> that was close. Who writes this stuff? Richard Mueller? This is humiliating. If this were prime time, I could use real bullets. No! When I find the artist who drew that power line, wow! Zoom to the moon, Alice! Tonight, on a current zucchini, we have as our guests the censor lady. Former newscaster Whitley White. Now see here, you mindless mole maggot. Mayor Leonard Earwax. Thank you, Mayor. And decorated tomato war veteran Wilbur Finletter. And now, our friend the noble tomato. What do you want? Go away! <laughs> Let us in, you bloated bean! No chance, inferior human types. Tonight, I, Dr. Zoltan the Magnificent, will bring about my greatest triumph. <laughs> Huh? Where'd they go? <laughs> well, it is interesting to note that after one initial outburst, Mr. Finletter is oh, silent. Run for your lives! All is lost! The enemy is broken in! Now, nobody panic! <laughs> Juice, huh? Please, don't hurt me. I'm a bleeder. The zombies. How did gangrene do it? Tell me. He coats those big pea pods with nasty chemicals. It's some sort of science thing.
<laughs> the bells, the bells. <laughs> Psych! How's that, Master? Igor, you meat whistle. Where are the prisoners? <laughs> Well, dear, 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 I think we're in for a terrible display of visually unacceptable violence. Citizens of San Zucchini, listen up. Chad has an important announcement. Hi, I just wanted to say, you don't have to follow Dr. Gangrene. <laughs> Yes, you do! You're all individuals! We're, We're all individuals. Uh, no, you're not! You're mine! And you're all washed up! Hit it, FT! <laughs> no! Washing off the chemicals! Oh, I'm ruined! This is all your fault, Igor! Me! How, Master? I don't know! But when I find out! Oh, you're gonna get it! To the moon, Igor! to admit, you are a patriot. Is there anything you'd like to say to our vast viewing audience? Yes. Tomato. Touch that dial, because you can watch me in all new episodes of The Simpsons, beginning this Thursday, right here on Fox. Oh, and by the way, check out Fox's Peter Pan and the Pirates weekdays on Fox, man.